Good morning, dear friends. Today is a reading from Jesus in Our Days by Devaldo Franco and the Spirit Joanna De Angelis. Um, number eight, Jesus and Duty. There can be no doubt that countless people unconsciously believe they deserve to have it all. They even think the sun shines because they exist in order to provide them with light, warmth, and life. They lock themselves up in their self-bestowed values, but when confronted with reality, they become embittered or rebellious and lapse into aggressiveness or depression. They do not assume responsibilities or fulfill their duties. On occasion, they do make a commitment, but soon abandon it, accusing others and feeling wronged. They are demanding regarding other people's conduct yet forgiving concerning their own errors. Always in a state of confusion, they become a heavy burden on the social economy, creating unpleasant situations. Easygoing and agreeable when esteemed, they become rude and thankless if not regarded as they think they should. Affable in success, they become aggressive when struggling. They forget that life tests our courage, our morals, and that We all have non-deferrable duties towards it, our neighbors, and to ourselves. No one has the right to enjoy something for nothing, exploiting someone else's efforts. The prize is the honor conceded to the victor who has endeavored to achieve. Step by step, the traveler gains ground, gazing fixedly at the finish line. Each person's duty guides him or her in the task of evolution. This effort is the conscious moral achievement once it becomes fully aligned with cosmic order. Being useful in any and every circumstances, favoring progress, living with dignity, these are the few expressions of one's duty to life. In an unforgettable parable, Jesus delineated the behavior of a man who put forth the effort to deserve respect, demonstrating his fragility as well as his desire for self-renewal. Matthew writes, There was a man who had two sons. He said to the first son, Go and work in the vineyard today, to which the son responded, Yes, sir. But upon thinking it over, he decided not to go. He made the same request to the second son, who said, I will not. However, he felt bad and went. Which of the two did the will of his father? Asked the master, and his listeners responded, The second. In this experience, we are faced with action and promise, fact and intention. Action must predominate because it results from duty, for action and comforting words are not necessary, but rather the decision to proceed correctly. Jesus always proposes duty, action, understand better to act better. He never induced anyone to alienation from objective reality. He established a scale of values that must be respected and the most relevant ones deserving priority those that are essential accomplishments for upright individuals who fulfill their duty. Before him, stagnation means death, and stagnation is a crime against the kingdom of God lying within the human being and needing to be attained. All the parables he offers us are action-packed, without external impositions, but rather the result of the lucid willingness of an awakened conscience. Never make a promise you do not intend to keep. Never rest on your laurels. Assess the possibilities and press on. The duty that imposes selflessness and hardship is the same that brings you harmony, righting you, ridding you of conflict and doubt. Never cease to grow inwardly. The discontent you feel in regards to your accomplishments will be your motivation to aim higher. You are a servant of the world. Jesus, who came from the stars, stated that he was the servant of all so that we may have life and have it abundantly. Jesus, hear our prayers. For all of us who are gathered today, let us close our eyes and lift our thoughts to the Heavenly Father. Let us open our hearts to today's lesson on duty. Let us all put forth the effort of improvement through our study, through prayers, 
acts of selflessness and charity through self-inspection and adjustment as well as amendments and forgiveness. Let us also pray for all of those who have been affected by the fires, the hurricanes, the flooding, and especially our brothers and sisters into this morning's Las Vegas shooting. Heavenly Father, give them strength, courage, and faith. Let us all offer our own prayer at this time. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunities you continue to grant us for daily renewal and service. Today, let us open our eyes to the opportunities of duty. Let us utilize all avenues and possibilities granted to us so that we may spread truth to all. So be it. Have a lovely day today.